Welcome back and in this episode we're going to take a look at computer properties. So computer properties basically combine your input and allow you to do some functionality before displaying a variable. So let's go ahead and uh, pass another property in our object and we'll call it computed. So here let's um, uh, create a variable that says form info and to this we want to bind a function and in this function we would going to return this login form again login form dot username plus space this login form password now let's make a paragraph below our button and let's display form information here. So if we type in something into our username and password, we can see that the computer property equates the, or rather evaluates the two variables into this single variable. So you can use the computer property in your uh, methods as well. Make sure you though, uh, so let's call it first. So form info, if we type something in and submit it, we can see that it logs it here. Make sure you don't call it as a function like so, otherwise it will give you an error. Okay, so let's remove the function and let's make a more sort of complicated or a rather an actual use case which I tend to use it for. So let's make a list and uh, let's make a foo, a john, and b do. Let's make another computer property and let's call it filter list bind the function to it and return this dot list dot filter and inside here we want to specify a condition by which we want to filter so this x equates to one item in the list so all I'm going to do is return x dot index of a equals equals zero so in this case the first the position of a's in these two first items is zero and the position at zero is b so what we're expecting is an array with just a foo and john so let's uh, replace our form info with filter list and let's refresh this and you can see that it filters our array like so so the main uh, lesson to take away from here computer properties are same as your data properties except you cannot the model bind them to an input all they do is provide some logical functionality before you go to display that object